as you can get. It was awful. Mm -hmm. about to pass under the newly constructed Pennsylvania Route 903 bridge. Jim Thorpe's memorial is located on 903 the north end of town. Route 903 heads towards links that deep in the Pocono Mountains. The town of Jim Thorpe is on the southwestern tip of the Pocono region, which includes Carbon, Monroe, Mike, and Wayne counties. Millions of people visit the Poconos each year to participate in outdoor activities, stay at one of the dozens of resorts, or take sightseeing trips. We're now entering the Jim Thorpe Rail Yard. The original engine house was torn down in 1945 to make room for the large turntable. The turntable that you'll see to the left of our train is operational, and we currently use it during our steam train excursions, of which is here right now. Oh, there's a steam engine. That's what we hear. That's a sight that you won't see every day. The hiking and biking trail to the right of our train was added to link the trail in the Lehigh Gorge to the town of Jim Thorpe. This trail is a portion of the 165-mile Delaware and Lehigh National Heritage Corridor. If you ride one of our popular bike trains, this is the same path you would glide down for the 27-mile return trip from Whitehaven to Jim Thorpe. now approaching Nesquehoney Junction. The rail line that branches off to our left goes to Reading, Pennsylvania. 
our hometown high bridge and full foliage excursions take that line during our busy October season. After we've taken the switch to your left, you'll see the abandoned PQ switch tower. Stood at one time controlled trains at Mescalone and Junction. The tower closed in April of 1972. We will now run the Reading and Water Railroad's main line through the Lehigh Gorge. That's for Hurting Junction and PQ Tower. After we pass PQ Town, we'll be on the Nesquahoning Bridge, which crosses the Lehigh River. The bridge offers spectacular photo opportunities on both sides of the train. If you look to the left, you will see the Lehigh River directly underneath of us. This bridge was reinstated to allow for the opening of the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway in May 2005. Across the Nesquahoning Bridge will be on the Colport Bridge. It passes over the Reading and Northern Railroad's Lehigh Branch and also the Norfolk Southern Lehigh Line. This was the former Lehigh Valley Railroad that was once owned by Asa Packer. The Lehigh Valley Main Line went from Penn Station in New York City to Buffalo, New York, a distance of over 440 miles. Our train is now entering the Glenoco Falls area. There are several legends telling the story of Glenoco Falls. The most popular of these legends involves the beautiful Native American Princess Sinoco. According to the legend, she tragically leaped from the upper falls to her death because of a forbidden love. It is unclear to this day how much of this legend is true and how much was created by publicists at the railroad to attract customers. Nonetheless, some people believe the princess still owns the area, searching for her lost love. Also in this area was a magnificent old hotel called the Hotel Juanita. This railroad owned summer resort was built in 1885 and attracted many visitors from the big cities. The four-story hotel boasted an 80-foot-long bar and was only accessible by the railroad or by hiking. The hotel burned in 1911 during a mountain brush fire and was never rebuilt. Glenoco Falls are midway up the mountain on the left hand side when they get on the Glenoco Bridge. Uh, they're not visible because of the heavy foliage still, but they're up there and they are accessible to hikers. What you will see on the bridge, if you look over your right shoulder, is the old Jersey Central Railroad Tunnel that 100 years ago we have taken. However, the trains got too large for the tunnel and this track was laid and the tunnel was closed. That is also accessible to hikers. So let will be on the Glen Oak Road Bridge, look over your right shoulder, and you will see the old Jersey Central Tunnel. The engine's there, almost there now.
called the rock cut for obvious reasons. We are now entering the southern gateway to the Lehigh Gorge State Park. Keep a watch for some of Pennsylvania's wildlife. Deer, black bear, turkey, and Pennsylvania State Bird, the rough grouse, are just the few of the animals we see along our line. Every so often, a black or eagle can be spotted. The Lehigh Gorge State Park includes plenty of Pennsylvania State Flower of the Mount Farm, along with native oaks, maples, poplars, and birch trees. This area that we're in right now is known as Hatchel. This wide spot along the railroad is one of the few places where the tracks of the Lehigh Valley and Jersey Central Railroads run side by side at the same burial level. The central New Jersey roadbed is now the biking trail which extends over 25 miles to Whitehaven. The name Hatchel comes from Hatchel's Tooth, the rock outcropping on the mountain high above the train. Keep a lookout for different species of birds along the way. This area is well known for witnessing birds of prey circling high above us. You can usually see hawks, vultures, and an occasional bald eagle in the village. This is Hatchel Cove. Lehigh River is a tributary of the Delaware River and is 109 miles long. The word Lehigh comes from a Lenape Indian word or phrase meaning where there are forks. Its upper course has numerous class two and class three rapids and supports a range of outdoor activities including rafting, kayaking, and canoeing. The river holds many species of fish including trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, carp, and catfish. The river rises in the Pocono Mountains at several ponds in Lehigh Township in Wayne County. The lower course of the Lehigh runs through the historically important anthracite steel and coal producing regions of Pennsylvania. The river was entirely owned by the Lehigh Coal and Navigation Company from the mid 19th to mid 20th centuries due to the operation of the Lehigh Canal. The Lehigh River flows southeast to Allentown where it flows east, passing Bethlehem to reach Easton, where it joins the Delaware River. an area known on the river as Oxbow Curve. This is one of the sharpest curves on the line and forms almost a half circle. 
the name Oxbow is a home river of the days when a canal system operated on this part of the river. The owners thought that the curve in the river resembled an oxbow or yoke, used when oxen, oxen pulled wagons or other heavy loads. About halfway around the curve, we will pass underneath what looks like a foot bridge. This is actually an oil pipeline that is suspended above the track and river. The span is about 365 feet across. This was one of the original oil pipelines in the country and ran between Oil City, Pennsylvania and Linden, New Jersey. Today, fiber optic cables are inside the pipeline. On the opposite side of the trail, on the trees to the right, are remains of a former canal line. This portion of the Lehigh Canal, from Whitehaven to Mock Chunk, was named the Upper Grand Section, and totaled 20 dams and 29 locks. It was destroyed by a severe flood in the 1860s, and railroads were built through the Lehigh Gorge in its place. Oxbow Curve. you may see mile markers. Soon we will pass milepost 128. This indicates that we are 128 miles west of Penn Station in New York City. Picture on top of this mile post is the white-tailed deer, the Pennsylvania State Animal. Much further a mile post in the gorge. the Lehigh River is very deep and slow at this location. Air Creek empties into the Lehigh on the opposite side of the river. Air Creek is a great fishing location for Pennsylvania State Fish, the brook trout.
terminus of our trip. Once the train comes to a complete stop, people seated in standard coach may get up out of your seat and push or pull the middle of the seat to change direction. If you need help with your seat, a car host will assist you.